This is the VexVR code uh, level two for the robot vacuum. So we just completed level one. And in level one, we wrote that program that our robot, will, once started, will go forever, driving forward. When it senses the wall is in, within 100 millimeters, it's going to turn at 110 degrees and continue through. So in program two, they're asking us to modify this code. So they're asking us to, instead of using a prescribed distance, is to set a variable block for this. So I'm gonna come up here to variables, and I'm gonna grab set my variable, and my variable, uh, I can create my own, and I know mine is gonna be distance, so I'm gonna create it as distance. And I'm going to go with 100 millimeters. I'm going to stick with that same program that we wrote. So I'm going to delete that out of my program here. And I'm going to grab my distance variable and place it inside of my program. Now you're going to notice my program runs exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is uh, instead of typing a preset number in, I can use that variable. Now. Why do we use variables? Well, I can use this variable block over and over again. So again, it makes for more readable coding. Uh, but in reality, what it's more there for is, so I can set an algorithm later, later on and change this variable based on my algorithm to alter my program. So again, we're gonna see my robot running exactly like it did previously. We can look at my rotation sensors for my heading and how we rotate. And nothing has really changed in the program, but this is makes for a more functional program later on. 